All right, here we go. A tutorial on how to make your PS4 controller into a MIDI device. Um, some of these things, I'm not sure if I'm doing them right. I mean, I might be using a screwdriver as a hammer for some of these things. So uh, if you know the correct way to do this, please inform me. This is the only way I've figured out how to do it. So what I have is this guy with a big eye, and I want it to be controlled with a, a joystick. So I have the controls down here, like the X and Y. Do, do, do. But I want them to be controlled by the MIDI device. So enter controller mate. All right, this is a, let me just start this all over again here and I'll delete this. Actually, when you get this, you'll have to create a new group and then do a new programming page and look like this. You'll have your controller connected and you'll find it under here, see, I just it just highlighted when I moved it. I'm pressing a button and it moves. So yeah, it, all these buttons on the controller can be found under here once you highlight this. So what do I want is this right here, the x-axis. See it highlighting? I'm just moving it and it's saying this is where you, where you want. Here's the y. That's the other one I want. There you go. Now you think you just do MIDI output and uh, go like this and bam, and you're done. But you're not, because what you have to do is uh, go to calculation, axis calibration, and now you gotta calibrate it first. So under your inspector, you'll find the properties here. You go to calibrate, start. The center is gonna be wherever the center is at, set center, calibrate, go to uh, Left, go to right, set range, and now you're finished. Now let's close up a little bit. That's the dead zone there. The joystick will not uh, do anything when you when you get a little bit of uh, movement. All right, so there we go. You would think, there we go. See, numbers, driving numbers, driving numbers. And we want it to drive uh, this guy here. So we're going to lay out. Pick the one we want, and there you go. It automatically did it because it's uh, sending that signal. Okay, so this doesn't work right, right? Yes. This is the part where I'm uh, a little bit guessing, but I'm getting it to work. So go back to here, and let's go to limits, and we'll change it to the same as our scene, negative 200 and 200. And I think, bam, it's fixed, right? No. Because now it's still, I don't know why, but uh, it's still broken there. So you have to increase the range for some reason. I think a 325 works for some reason on this guy. And there you go. Now he's going. Doop, 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 doop. All right. That guy done. Now I want this guy. Oop. See, it, it, when I selected it, automatically it connected the <laughs> MIDI control to it. So if that happens... Uh, just go here and uh, disable it for a second. Go back to here, remove MIDI, and there you go. All right, so let's get our other one in here, this one. So we'll want another one of these uh, calibrations. Put it here, do that. Um, calibrate, start, center, go up, go down, set range. Finished. A little bit. You see it wiggling in there? That's gonna always gonna happen. That's why it uh, is a dead zone. So okay, now you need one of these. I'm just option dragging there, and bam. But you have to look here. See this channel? You can't have two uh, axes sent on the same channel because it'll get confused. So uh, just change it to a different channel. You got all these different channels. You can do you know 16 channels. All right, so what are we gonna do now? We go here, and we go up. Oh, uno momento, I forgot about this. Let's disconnect this for a second. Turn this on, go here, and, and there you go. So now they're both connected to that. Yeah, I know, <laughs> it's off, but uh, let me fix.
So these limits were 200 to, let's try the same limits on this guy. Negative 200, and what did I say, 325? Check, 325, 325. Okay, so now let's hope it works. And there we go. Do, 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 do. So that, that works for this guy. I mean, it's pretty cool. But uh, it'd be nice to add some buttons in there, too, because I have this blink right here that I don't want to press the keyboard when I'm doing that, when I have the joystick here. So how do you do that? Well, that's super easy. Let's go back to our uh, controllers. This one. Now let's press, uh, I'm pressing the X button here, which reads as this. Off, on, off, on, off, on. Go to our MIDI. Note. Doop. Button, 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 button. See? On, off, on, off. So let's go here. Let's connect this blink to this MIDI note. Press the button. Bam. There you go. That's the MIDI note. And now there we go. I can do this all with a controller. I mean, why would you want to do this? Uh, use MIDI at all instead of using a on your keyboard? Well, you know that a Adobe Character Animator doesn't really recognize uh, key presses when you have it in the background. So if you use this, you can actually set up a key uh, press and make that into a uh, MIDI. This way you can kind of uh, fool it into going around, you know. Anyway. There you go. The end.